Hello, I am Argama Witch, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to do earrings in Vroid. Um, also, uh, two side notes. One, yes, it's a new model, uh, <clears throat> and it is Vroid. Two, uh, the textures that I'm using here today on this model uh, are over on my booth, so you can get them there if you want. All right. So I've had people ask me about accessories, um, mostly um, earrings. So we're going to do earrings right now. Uh, so I'm going to grab the base layer right here. We're over in hair, by the way. We're in the hair editor. We're going to do all this with hair. And I'm going to do new freehand group. I'm going to change the conformity X to zero because I don't know why that's a default. Make sure I have the mirror on, which is this button right here. If you don't have mirror on, click the mirror button. That way, so if you move one side, it moves the other. Because we're going to have ear the same earring on both sides. If you want different earrings on different sides, uh, you can change it after. But for now, we're going to just kind of align where we want this. So I want to kind of get this in to where the earring is going to go. All right. And now for the other side. Now this part, I'm going to turn mirror mode off because I want this to be as flat in as possible. And I don't want the other side in because it gets a little janky. So you'll see me adjusting just a little bit. I'm going to pull this to where the grid is right by that ear. So it's just kind of cutting through it. Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to pull the top in too just so we can keep our um, thing flat. And I'm going to pull this side out a little bit so it doesn't really fucking matter. Just kind of line it up. Like right about there, I guess. That's good. And we're going to do all this in real time, hopefully. All right. Um, I'm just going to adjust a little bit. Put my mirror mode back on so I can match it up. Okay. Now, <clears throat> at this point, we're going to come over here and we're going to grab our brush tool. I'm going to make a, a new material. So we're going to hit duplicate, grab the new one. And I'm going to change the color of it to opera. I don't know. Pink, I guess. I'm going to change the shade because I don't really care about it. I'm going to change the shade to white and the highlight to black. So it'll be nothing. All right. And now down here, um, you see this curve. We're going to adjust and play with this curve a little bit in order to make the shape of the earring we want. And for this one, uh, I'm going to kind of do sort of like a diamondy shape earring. So it's sort of like that. And I'm going to move these up closer to here so it kind of like gives it a sharper point yeah and now I'm gonna just kind of draw a line down look they're kind of big but we can fix it that's what we do we fix everything in post uh, so we're gonna adjust the width of it and the thickness to kind of be where we want it so the thickness is gonna be like this and the width is gonna be the sideways one so I want these kind of thin not that thin yeah, I like that, I guess. I'm going to take this line, I'm just going to pull it up a little bit and just like adjust it so it's straight. Yeah, and so this is just going to be kind of like my basic dangly earring. Now I'm going to go over to texture. And I'm going to go to the hair. And I'm just going to color this in. What did we pick? Like a purple? Oh, alright, I'm going to change this to white. Because now I'm going to color it in. I usually just pick a color so I can tell which layer I'm working on. Because I might do multiple at once before I go in and actually change things. So we're just going to kind of, you know, color in. And you can do this absolutely outside of the program. In fact, I recommend it. And um, we're just going to like just dip in some shades down here. You know, blah, 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 blah. And then some whites over here, kind of shiny. Yeah, that's fine. And like that. Um, and now when she moves her head, or he, whatever your character, you know, is wearing these earrings. Let's pose. We're gonna do number two, one, three, three, five. Yeah, this one. All right. <clears throat> so we can see like her moving ahead and doesn't move at all. Well, the easy way to fix that is to add bones to it. So we're going to go to the bone group. And we're just going to go create new bone group. You know what? Don't do that. 
Let's right click and delete that. We're gonna grab each one individually and create a new bone group. We're gonna do one bone. And yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. And I'm gonna have a tutorial coming out. I don't know if it'll be out before this or after this, but it's going to show how to work with bone groups. So no. Yeah. But we're only gonna need one for here because this is a stiff crystal. So now when we move it, you can see there is some movement. And if you want to add a little bit extra, um, like, dynamic movement for this, you're going to just add just a smidgen of gravity, which is going to make it fall straight down. Just a smidge. You don't want to go crazy. The gravity in here is a little funky, but there you go. Now when the head turns, it's going to kind of aim for the down. Alright, so, um, one last thing I would do is pull the stiffness up a bit. Stiffness up. Maybe the gravity up a little bit. We'll go to 10. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's more what I was looking for. All right. So that's one earring. And if you want, you can always change the shape of it. You can go over to, you know, this grid. And mind you, I've selected it and then hit the uh, select tool, which is this arrow at the top. And now we can like change the shape if we really want to. So, um, say I wanted more of a teardrop shape or something. You just kind of, kind of mess with it to how you want it. Pull this up a little bit. And remember, this is just like the side view of it. So now we have like a different shape. And I didn't do the other one. You have to do them separately. Um, and you can really make it any shape you want through here. You know, some weird ass shapes. You can try to do a circle. I'm gonna have to widen it a little bit though. Yeah. Yeah, you can make like circles and whatever. Big... Well, so whatever, it doesn't really matter. You get the general idea. All right, so we're gonna use the same mesh from this and I'm gonna do a new free hand group. So it's gonna keep the old mesh. Um, and this one's gonna be a little different. And for these, we're gonna do kind of more of a detailed earring. So what I'm going to do is take my brush. I'm gonna come over here and grab this straight and straight, straight, straight. And instead of a diamond, it's gonna be flat. And I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I'm gonna make it, I don't know, yellow. Just so I can see what I'm working with. And I'm gonna whoop, just pull that down. I do a few just so it's like a short one so I don't have as many points to work with, but you can absolutely add more points if you want. All right. So now we're gonna go over to uh, texture. And over here in the hair. And what I'm going to do is uh, toggle visibility. Because I don't want that layer. I can delete it if you want. I don't really care. I, normally I would. All right. Now I'm on the layer tool. I'm going to grab my brush. Can you just stop? All right. And I'm going to draw uh earring design um normally at this point i would just kind of like sketch a little something and then take it over into another program but you know there it is fine And we have like a star and an earring because I like um, I like moons and shit. So that's what we're doing. And in fact, I'm gonna do another one over here where it's just um, a couple of stars. All right, uh, new layer. Where the opacity of this? We can't see here. Don't worry about that. This is just. 
This is just for drawing means, you know? All right, so I'm gonna have like my gray piercings there, and I could do a chain, sort of. Let me, let me turn this down a little lower, because I'm having trouble seeing. All right, Got a little chain here. It's not gonna be well done on this. Normally I take this into another program, which I absolutely recommend. I always recommend taking your uh, textures into other programs. All right, you know what? I said I was going to do this in real time, but I'm going to speed through this because, you know, this is going to fucking take forever. By ever, I mean, I don't know, five, ten minutes. All right, so here's my little earring things. They're not the greatest, but, you know, we're... we're it's fine. I'm going to lower the uh, um, texture width down a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to slightly adjust where they are uh, on the ears because they're a little off, which is fine. We're just going to like slide it over a little bit. And if they're both following, make sure you just turn off the mirror tool. Uh, and for this one, I'm going to rotate uh, to just have the two dangly ones. Um, bring the offset about there. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, actually, that's a little off. There we go. All right. So now this is kind of a little reminiscent of my own earrings, you know, uh, go like that, I guess. Um, and now let's add some bones to these. So you're going to grab each one individual and create a bone group. And you're going to make the fixed point as like right where the ear is. And for this, yeah, we can do that many bones. That's fine. Four bones is fine for this. The other one we might do three. Because it is a little smaller. And let's up the gravity to, I don't know, ten on each. And then we can see them in movement here. And you can see how they like dangle a little bit like earrings. You can change that by uh, changing the gravity a little bit. So let me show you what, you know, let's, uh, for this one over here, we're gonna change the gravity up to 55 and the stiffness down. So you can kind of see the difference. Like see it's kind of like floaty a little bit. And it is still hair, so you gotta keep in mind that it is gonna interact with things like hair. Um, but for the most part, you should be fine with this. Let's see how it looks, yeah. With walking, you can see a little bit of movement there. And that's basically how you would do earrings. Um, and you can do them in like however shapes you want because you're just drawing it on there. It's, it's just a flat piece of hair. Um, if you want to do like the 3D ones again, you have like your options for that. But you know, basically this is how you would do an earring. Um, there's many different styles you can do. And if you really want to make it fancy, you can take it over into uh, Unity afterwards and change the shaders for these in order to give it some shine. They have like the metallic shaders or whatever, but yeah. Um, so if this video has helped you out at all, uh, please give it a like. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. It really does help me out and it helps out the whole algorithm thing and all that other jazz, you know, you know, the YouTube thing that we're all struggling with that thing. Anyways, Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!